This tutorial will talk about some different things to do uh, for your image if you're doing a portrait for your Cubist collage. Um, I'm going to talk about some things that you won't want to do versus what you will want to do for your uh, collage. So here's an example of what you will want to try and stay away from. Even though I have reached about 10 images, so a good amount of pictures, it still does not complete uh, the requirements for this project because I'm just randomly placing my pictures. Um, first of all, the first mistake is that you can see the entire picture for all of my images. So they're all pretty far zoomed out, there's no details, and they're all just randomly placed. So there's no order to the way that these images are placed. Here's an example of an image that is well thought out and you're not able to see each individual image. So you can see uh, more zoomed in. So this image here is just the eyes. This has just the right half of the face, uh, just the nose and lips. Um, so again, there is a thought for each of the pictures where they're zoomed in and cropped, and it's not showing the entire image. Um, another thing that works really well for this picture is that it's really well thought out with the placement of everything. In general, Everything that would be shown on the top half of the face is on the top half of my picture here. So where the eyes are is about where all the eyes would line up in my picture. Um, all the lips are down towards the bottom half. The chin is all towards the bottom half. So there's no eyes down in the bottom right hand corner. There's no chin up at the top of the head. Uh, so the placement of everything is really well thought out. It also works really well because there is part of the background showing with a lot of these images. So it's not just the face that's collaged, but the background as well. So remember that the background is a part of this image. Um, so you can see this extra piece here was collaged. There's one here. Um, this could have maybe gone a little bit further and done a couple more squares in the background. But be sure to think about what's behind your portrait as well. Otherwise, it will just be uh, too much attention drawn to one area. So try and space things out a little bit. Um, but in general, most of the face is where the face would be. And then there's the background behind it as well. Here's another example of something to stay away from as you're working with creating a collage out of portraits. Uh, as you'll notice, it looks a little bit funny because different pictures were cut out for each of these facial features and placed onto a background image. So that's something you want to stay away from is piecing something together on top of a background image and putting different viewpoints of the eye exactly on top of where those eyes would go or a different viewpoint of the ear or the nose or the lips exactly where um, those lips would go. Because it's at a different perspective and the size is probably changed as well, it's going to make it look like it's actually part of the face and make it look like the face is a little bit off and um, not completely accurate. So that's something you want to stay away from is cutting out individual pieces and overlapping them where they would go on the face. Um, so something you would want to do instead is try and maybe cut out both eyes at once and instead of putting those eyes on the original eye, maybe moving them off to the side a little bit so you can still see the other eyes. Uh, so if you come back to this example, um, that's what this person did in the image where the eyes were moved off to the side and you don't just have one really close up eye cut out and pasted on top of this. So everything's spaced out. Um, the background is included in the cropping so not just again the eye, nose, or lips pieced together. Here's another example that uh, works well with the portrait uh, but breaks a couple of the rules that we were talking about. Uh, but what mainly is working well for this image is having that main focal point, so where the head is here, and just having not those individual little pieces cut out of the nose or eyes, but including the background in a lot of the pictures. Um, and then just pasting it together so that the background is included around the outside. And I think what works well collaging these images is that there still is that one area that's collaged um, of the face and then these are just kind of showing a little bit more of the background so that's an interesting idea to incorporate um, the entire face as long as there's somewhere that has that good amount of collage taking up the focal point.